Un senatore Maria Jefferson. Thank you again for your comment. And your appreciation for the bill tabled by the government. I do certainly understand some of the worries you wanted to share. And let me just give you some uh, clarification. The first hypothesis you made is that our resources are dwindling. I want to probably say they are not dwindling, but they are not enough. They are growing. In the second aspect, you are concerned were centered around management, management of our resources, the allocation, the impact we get from our resources, and the different organs and institutions in charge of uh, the management of the resources. Yes, this is uh, an aspect that has uh, caught our attention. And uh, despite the fact that it's a new way of uh, contracting, it doesn't mean that uh, we'll be very loose in that. We'll remain as vigilant as it is the case for other projects already. But I want to reassure you that measures to avoid losing the money again are well taken into consideration. How do we do that? Certainly the law by itself has brought clarifications. And these clarifications also give the entire process you have to go through if you want to finalize a public-private partnership. This process is scrutinized certainly at the level of uh, the highest authority, but beyond this uh, scrutiny, the contract by itself will also encapsulate measures, obligations of the different parties such that in due course we are able to monitor, to evaluate, and to take necessary decisions. So if I had to say something on that, we have learned our lessons of the past, and we know that it's important not only to look at the money when it's disbursed, but to put emphasis in the preparatory phase. And this is uh, where we want to see different stakeholders being more capacitated, such that they ensure we are getting into a project that's going to be an impactful project, that's going to require certainly resources, but these resources should be used impactfully. In this line, I just want to say that uh, with respect to the public finance management uh, a framework nowadays, because you refer to control organs without having the equipment, infrastructure. Let me say that uh, since 2012, we have moved uh, different directions such that ministries are in charge of their own budget in terms of plan, budgeting and implementing. So if a vehicle for mission is important for the ministry, it should be able to put that in its budget. Because it's a priority. It's not a different ministry that's going to put the item in its budget. It's program budget. You have your goals, you have your means, allocate them where you think it's priority. So I share with you the concern, but I also want to see the responsibilities among those who are in charge of implementing the policy in that area. So overall, I want to say on that preparatory phase, contracting phase, monitoring phase, evaluating phase, all these aspects are well stated, and now, based on the contract that are going to be signed, we'll be able to properly call to responsibility any party in charge of uh, any obligation that has not been covered.